Sneaky B. Back with some more Kingdom Hearts Dark Road. When we last left off, oh my God, is that freaking baby Xehanort? Oh, look at him just hanging out in his beautiful Destiny Island with absolutely dick to do. And ah, oh, Jesus Christ, there's freaking handsome or older Xehanort or I don't know, a time travel shit. He's like, hey, how's it going? You want to get out of here? And I'm like, yeah, sure. Here's a portal, boosh. Go to the magical land of not Hogwarts. Okay, bye. Which led to Skull and Column, where now we are studying under Master Gandalf Odin guy with our good old pal Ericus and four other jobbers to become the one true Keyblade Master. But ah, shit, a whole bunch of the upperclassmen went missing. So you seven kids, oh wait, six. Th there's one other kid, but he's fucked off somewhere. You go find the other seven kids that disappeared and hopefully you also don't disappear in the process. Otherwise, we're gonna have to send a whole nother seven slash six kids to find them. It's all right, there's a whole bunch of these guys. I can do this all day. So far, we've just gone to Aladdin's world as well as Alice in Wonderland's world. And it's been sort of interesting so far. I'd say it's pretty slow to start. Like, I see where they're going with this. With their, they're actually really actually trying to tie in the game's story and themes of light and dark with actually the Disney worlds this time, which is a bit more nuanced than sometimes some of the stuff that we do in previous ones. Like, not that the other Disney worlds in other Kingdom Hearts games are like completely pointless, you know? Even if, you know, probably... 80% of it is just fan service. There's still like meaningful stuff in there, usually facing off with an organization member. And I still say that our Kingdom Hearts 3 arguably does the best job of having like the best Disney worlds, but also some of the best like interactions with some of the antagonists. But we're seeing that Xehanort right off the bat is already finding like more comfort in potentially the, the darkness that's pulling him along. And Ericus, as we also see later in Birth by Sleep, is sort of dead set in his way. He's like, well, no, light is always going to be good and dark is always bad, right? Which we already know isn't really going to change as he gets older. It's kind of his big character flaw. So it's interesting so far, though I, I still think it, it dragged a little bit, especially in the Alice in Wonderland section. I'm like, okay, all right, all right, all right, I get it. I think it probably didn't help. I've just never been a huge Alice in Wonderland fan. And it feels like every time we go to this fucking world in any of the Kingdom Hearts games, it's always like one of the worst worlds. And it always ends with one of the worst fucking bosses too. Jesus Christ. Fuck that stupid spindly legged juggling motherfucker. That guy's a pain in the ass every time he shows up. But anyway, you guys share some interesting factoids about Dark Road, including one very interesting comment from Fairly Regional, who last episode said, so the three episodes you just watched are the only ones that were released before the remaining episodes were dropped a few days ago. To put it in perspective, there was a seven month gap between episode three and Union Cross's finale, and an almost 22 month gap between episode three and the rest of Dark Road. In the first three episodes, you could switch out the third party member, and yes, the dialogue would stay pretty much the same no matter who you chose. However, this is not the case for the following episodes. There is a canon party setup and dialogue for the story scenes. Also, unlike Union Cross, the Disney worlds are not filler and are considered by many, including me, to be some of the best Disney integration in the main plot throughout the series. All Dark Road cutscenes are included in Everglow's video, since it's a shorter story without really any filler to cut. I'm excited to see you experience Dark Road and hope you enjoy the journey. Holy shit, what? Okay, so the, the thing that really got me with this, well, one, and I, I guess I kind of knew this when I finished Union Cross, because I think when I finished it, that was not long after the the ending to Union Cross had been released. But the fact that technically the, the Dark Road had started before that finished, which explains why we didn't see some s specific scenes in the start of this, where I was like, why are we only seeing like like a little bit here, not actually like the, the true ending of Union Cross in that flashback that Xehanort had at the start? And that's because it wasn't done yet. And actually also means that we technically didn't know at the time that Xehanort was your creative character, like reincarnated. So we had like no reason to understand why he was even seeing that to be in the first place. However, the other thing that's really got me is the fact that this, are you serious? This thing has been sitting at three episodes done for almost two years? So all, like everything that we just saw last episode was actually all that this game has had until just a few days ago. Holy fuck, I definitely didn't know that. That is, that's actually kind of bullshit. <laughs> what the fuck, Square? What in the fuck? Why did it take them so long? Why did they save everything? Like seriously, I, I no offense, but like 
the story so far is pretty like I, it's sad like i said i was pretty slow right like if i had sat on that for like two years like some people did i would have been like i don't know man this shit this this doesn't have me super excited to see what's gonna happen like i don't think it was like necessarily the greatest of starts it was pretty slow so the fact that that's all you've had for literally two years is kind of insane to me but I have heard people say that it is very good. So I'm assuming that like from this point, it's probably gonna pick up quite a bit. And I guess it makes sense too then that like you say that apparently from this point forward, there are canon party members, which would make sense. Cause I actually thought like the way they're setting it up here makes it seem like the party members that are around you, the four jobbers don't seem like they actually have any significance cause you can just switch them out at any time. But if, the, if it's required now that you have to have certain characters, that will actually mean that those characters were, were tailor-made for those scenes, right? Which means we'll probably actually get some decent characterization, which is good. That's, I think, how it should be. God damn, I, I cannot believe that, though. That boggles my mind. I really thought that this was all spread out over, like, a few years, not, like, here's a few episodes, wait two years, here's the rest of it. That's like what Netflix did with uh, that JoJo show, right? Where they, like... Here's the first half of the season. All right, see you guys in like a few years. <laughs> and then eventually, we'll, maybe once it's done airing in Japan, maybe we'll drop the other half. God damn, it actually makes me even happier that I decided to wait and do this than play it back then. Because that really is... I'd be pissed to fucking swear for that. But Fairly Regional, thank you so much for sharing that uh, not-so-fun factoid. And here's that reason you are. Comment of the day. But yeah, it's interesting how a lot of the characters here are including even like Skull and others, right? From Daybreak Town in the previous section, but like are, are actually named after like Norse uh, mythological characters, right? Uh, so it makes me wonder like, is there a purpose to that? If it's just, you know, cool names, right? You know, aside from Xehanort and Ericus, everybody else has, has like some Norse reference, right? Even, even the old teacher, it's fucking Odin, Baldur, even Vor. I don't know. It could mean something, or it just could be Nomura like, those are cool names. I want to put them in here. So I'm not obviously not sure if there was even like like a payoff necessarily for Skull. We have no fucking idea what happened to her, by the way. We still have actually like no clarification of where the hell she went after the time jump. And similarly, we haven't seen Brain at all, I don't think. So it kind of makes me wonder whether the ending that we saw where he showed up in Scala Column is actually even like present day, right? Maybe that was still like many years before we uh see Xehanort show up I don't know it does feel kind of weird that we have not seen him I, I I kind of expected he'd be like part of the class but okay so we have finished off at episode three and appa I, I apparently we're about to see some shit that was literally just dropped not that long ago which is just fucking insane to me it looks like we'll probably be able to get through at least episode six today and then I think the next episode is when we will uh finish uh the rest of it off because the last two, I think two uh, episodes are uh, pretty long. But all right, let's uh, go ahead and uh, continue where we left, last left off. One year ago. Two years later, more like. Have you ever heard of the H? <laughs> Okay, sorry. I'm laughing just only because I'm like, oh, it's the scene. But then I actually thought for a second, Ericus was going to cut off Xehanort. Like, have you ever heard of the ancient Keebler? He's going to be like, yes, you bring it up every day. We had the same conversation 30 times. It feels like we see this one scene like, like a million times at this point from, from like Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> so let's like do that. And like, I've noticed that like, wait, look at this conversation, by the way. His, his message box pops up. And then he like says, huh, before he's even finished fucking saying his thing. It's not finished typing out yet. So it almost seems like he's like interrupting like, huh? <laughs> they, do, they do that a lot in this uh, Union Cross dark road style text thing. It's another reason I'm not like crazy about this style too much. So um, anyway, uh, have you heard of the ancient Keyblade War? Huh? Of course I have. Oh shit, I got to turn the volume down a little bit. So, okay, so this scene actually did take place before, before the, even, I guess the, well, I don't know, before we're, we're, we are, where we are right now, but likely before we even saw the, the first cutscenes of this. You know, not him on Dusty Island, but after that. Long ago, Keyblade wielders waged a war of the ownership of light. And they all died. The end. Yeah, the Master's favorite story. I wonder what they plan on doing with it, with Kingdom Hearts after making it appear. Good question. Who knows? I don't get why anyone would initiate a war. So. 
You know the Lost Masters. Who? Don't play dumb. They're the ones who start. You didn't say it! Oh, wait, no, maybe, maybe it's this part. They're the ones who started the Keyblade War. Never heard of them. Maybe it's this part right here. Where'd you hear about that? Or. They're the ones for whom the war started. I'm not following you. You can drop the facade. Facade? On that land shall darkness prevail and light expire. I thought you said don't play dumb. Maybe I'm not remembering right. Maybe you did say you dropped the facade. I don't know. A prospective Keyblade will, Master should know this. If you say so. The gazing eye sees the fate of the world. Yep, there it is. That big old ugly ass Keyblade. The future. It's already been ridden. Where's the box? Really? I'm not so sure about that. Besides, who's to say I can't change it? Maybe light will prevail. Pretty confident. But things aren't in your favor. Perhaps. But unlike darkness, there is more to light than meets the eye. You might be surprised. Oh, I hope so. Say it. Oh, I hope so. There we go. Okay. Hold on a second. Okay, it's going to drive me nuts. Hold on. I actually want to go back and rewatch that original scene now. Give me a second. You know the Lost Masters. Who? They're the ones who started the Keyblade War. Okay, all that's actually exactly the same. Never heard of them. Where'd you hear about that? Or, they're the ones for whom the war started. I'm not following you. You can drop the facade. Okay, I just, my memory sucks. <laughs> On that land shall darkness prevail and light expire. Yeah, no, it's actually exactly the same. I'm just, I'm just a fucking idiot. This. If you say so. It's all more reasons why I really fucking wish this. I know, I know that would have been too much, and they'd, they, they, they'd fucking never do it. But I would have loved it if these, these cutscenes were all voice acted. Ah oh, man, they, I remember there, there, there was that one cutscene too that someone actually got Ray Chase to voice the where the Master of Masters pretty much explains his plan. You know, his plan of uh, luring out darkness and killing it by putting it in the bodies of his uh, of his proteges. You know, it would have been really, would have really added a lot to the experience instead of having to hear my stupid ass voice. The future, it's already been written. Really? I'm not so sure about that. Besides, who's to say I can't change it? And maybe light will prevail. <laughs> Pretty confident. But things aren't in your favor. Perhaps, but unlike darkness, there is more light than meets the eye. You might be surprised. Oh, I hope so. It is a good scene. I do like that scene. By the way, this uh, chess set. You guys might remember, so, so Square uh, sold this chess set, right? Like, you, pre you pre-ordered it, like, I think, like, a year ago. And then people are finally starting to get them now. And it was, like, hell of expensive, by the way. I think it was, like, seven, seven to $800. It was supposed to be, like, some really high-end thing. But sadly, the people that got them, apparently the execution was not great. Like, some pieces were, like, bent and all kind of fucked up. And uh, I feel very bad for those people. That's, that's super shit. I'd be, I'd be really upset. I was actually considering getting it. Not gonna lie. I was considering getting this and putting it on the, like, the coffee table behind me. But now I'm kind of glad I didn't. Because you're gonna charge something for that, right? You can't pull some cheap horse shit like that, Square. Come on. All right, sorry. I just had to, I had to clarify my, my memory was truly shit. And yes, it is. Back to the actual story. <laughs> Episode four, Cruel Clues. Uh, This is Sleeping Beauty's world, I think. Yeah. I really like the music in this this area. What's official? I'm lost, or is it, or is it, uh, Snow White? But if it's an amazing castle, what if everyone's home? Oh, I think I hear someone. Uh, 
Actually, no, I think it is Snow White. Yeah. Mirror, mirror on the wall, please tell me how fucking hot I am. That didn't even rhyme. What wouldst thou know now, my queen? Magic mirror on the wall! Who shall forever, forever rule over all? Thou will, my liege. Oh, Jesus Christ. This fucking bitch. Yes, haha! -ha. Look how big and massive and cute my head is in this version of me. I'm so chibi and adorable. This crowd is heavy as fuck, though. Wow, that mirror knows all the answers? Shit! What's gonna happen at the end of this DLC? Everybody dies, including you. I saw your gravestone in the last episode. It was fucked up. You can help me, too. Did, 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 did it. Hopefully he doesn't like alert the 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 queen or something. Ah, ah, back to cheapo mode again. Wait. Hello. There you are. We worry. We're worried. Are you all right? I know I'm gonna die, guys. I should ask the mayor. I <laughs> yeah. You said you wanted to come with us, and then you went off on your own. You silly Billy. Sorry, that was two years ago. I legitimately forgot about we even had that conversation. We need to stick together. I know. I'm sorry. I was chasing a butterfly. And then I looked around and you were gone. Ah, <laughs> oh, butterfly. Yay. I'm just that easily distracted. Ah, uh, it's just all right. We're all just so adorable. Why am I not surprised? Hurry, man. Hurry. Oh. I told you that my tunnel was brewing trouble. That's why I'm coming with you. No time for fussing. We got to help him out, out of there. Don't you think I know that? They must be from this world, but I don't think they're likely to harm us. They look way too goofy. I don't think so either. It also sounded like they had their hands full. Something about a mine? There must have been a cave-in. If someone's trapped, we might be able to help. You know, it's funny. I, I just realized that so this whole explanation by why the about the worlds and how time moves differently is why the, the why this is even possible to begin with, right? Because normally. This is supposed to be like, I think a few hundred years before like any of this shit with Sora, I think. I don't know, how old is Xehanort at this point? Fuck. It's a long time though. So it's like, how are we seeing all these characters and not much has really changed for them? It's not even that, it doesn't seem even that long before what we saw later on. And that's why. So I think it's actually something that was even brought up by Joshua and Dream Drop just since at one point. So it's not like the game never brings it up, but I, I just sort of kind of occurred to me why they're doing it this way. What do we just say about going off on your own? God damn it, four! <laughs> You're one to talk. <laughs> Funny running animations too. <laughs> we are trucking it. Who are you? And what are you looking at? God, we keep getting these weird ass people showing up here. Uh, don't find, mind him. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. We thought you might need a hand. So someone's trapped behind that boulder. Got the key blade. Poke it open. Or key beam it open. What are you going to do? That's not a bad idea. A key blade might do the trick. Fucking just blast it. Or not. She about to. Oh! Damn, she's strong as fuck, boy. Is that uh, bashful? I think. Gosh, thanks. I think it is. Yeah. Drowsy or sneezy or something. It was off dusty. No, there's there's drowsy. 
Yeah, it was too dark to sleep good in there. And there's Dopey. We're mighty grateful for your help, friends. Ha! Huh, I can't fix it fine. You bitches. Well, I suppose we are. Thank you. Now all seven of us can go back to work. Seven, huh? Just like us. Yeah. Minus one. And like the seven we're finding also. That was awesome. And the seven lights and lots of sevens actually. We got company. Oh yeah, by the way, you guys also brought up, apparently uh, it was confirmed by Nomura that the whole reason, like why uh, Emblem Heartless are here when they shouldn't be here yet. Like technically they, they were, well, were created by Ansem. So how are they like existing in this world? Apparently that gets explained in Missing Link. So, okay, sure. Oh, for Pete's sake, now what? It's all been thought out, penguins, don't worry. Uh, this don't stop the whole bio collapse. Better beat the shit out of it. Get somewhere safe! She fucking goes over there and just bodies the thing. Ugh. You think it caused a cave-in? I don't know, but the only thing to do now is to beat his ass. Clobber it! That was a great fight. We're supposed to be tracking darkness, right? I don't know if we're gonna get anywhere by just defeating random Heartless that we encounter. We all knew it wasn't going to be easy. Actually, it might be. Huh? A castle? An all-knowing near? Come see for yourselves! Check it out! Oh great, you brought friends this time. Awesome. So this is it. What would she know? Ooh, I go, can I go first? Hold it, simmer down, guys. Jesus Christ. You know, people are always asking me for shit, but what about me, huh? Instead of asking me what to do, why don't they ask me how I'm doing? I've got a life too, you know. Really, really, I, I do, I, I, sw I swear. I want to be Zaynor and Chess. Ericus. Ericus! It's a game with black and white pieces called Alba and Honor and... Please ignore him. Aw. We're looking for some classmates who went missing. Do you know where they are? The friends you seek travel hither and yon. What the hell's that mean? Along separate paths alone they forge on. Oh, we're doing a rhyming thing, okay. So they're on their own. Let's see if we can at least track down one of them. Can you tell us where v Vidar is? The one. Must I remind you whom you serve, bitch? Who are you? <sighs> what the? Who the fuck let you in? Where are my guards? Do I even have guards? I don't fucking. It's an boy from this castle I rule. By the way, if I get anyone in here saying I look like Maleficent, I'm gonna beat your ass. Oh, um, well, we uh, heard about the mirror and we want to check it out. Listen, this thing exists to tell me how fucking hot I am, okay? Fuck off. Do you mind if we ask a few questions? You barge into my keep and dare ask a favor? How demon dare you? The mirror is mine! And mine alone! Mine! Hmm, but you may approach this once. Oh. If you wish. What the fuck? Oh. I have a bad feeling about this. Magic mirror on the wall! Oh, what? Let's consume these fools once for all! God damn it, that's right. I forgot we, we did fight this guy as a boss the other time we were here. 
stupid whatever fucking potion that shit is. Where are we? Not in the castle, that's for sure. Hey, uh, oh! look out. It's the magic mirror. Why is the reek of dankness? I doubt it's going to answer any of our questions now. You two ready? You bet. Of course. Let's go. Arr! And he died. My bad. I get really pissed off when she throws that shit in my face. We're right back? I think so. Whew. Looks like she's gone too. I just assumed you died from that. All right, let's find out where Vidar is. That's not necessary. God damn. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, my voice. Uh, I had a little thing in there. Uh, hi, everyone. Vidar. Damn, this guy's actually got a... I like, I like this guy's outfit the best I think out of everybody so far. That little yellow, like, thing tied around him, too. Really, really pulls it all together. We've been looking for you. I figured you'd show up. Master Odin sent you, right? Yeah. Wait, you knew? Then why'd you just come home? Are you alone? You must be Xehanort. The Visitant. I see why you caught the Master's eye. There's something different about you. And you, Vor. There's something on your mind, isn't there? Cool music. You're wondering if you really belong with these friends of yours. Why not join us instead, then? Huh? Wh what are you talking about? Aren't you coming back with us? I can't. Not yet. There's something I have to do. What is it? You'll see. I need your help. What do you say? I-I belong! Vor, you're coming with us, right? Actually, I-I asked the mirror a question of my own. Oh, uh, once you showed up earlier? Maybe. It can help me, too. What's, is this actually a new song? I don't know if I recognize it. At least not immediately. Can I ask you something? It's what I do. What wouldst thou know? Will I ever become a Keyblade Master? With friends thy heart doth lie, content and free of woe. In comfort, stagnant calm, forward thou fail to go. Ow! That's not true! I want to become a Keyblade Master as much as everyone else! Stop making things up! I'm just kidding, you die at the end of this. <laughs> no power have I to save off of what is true. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Oh, okay. Well, that that's actually very... Okay, yeah, things got... These are, things are already getting way more interesting, right? Infinitely more interesting now. Okay, so... He's telling her that you cannot... No, you're not going to become a Keyblade Master because you stagnate. I mean, you're happy with your friends, but you will fail to become a Keyblade Master, right? So now she's like, oh, well, maybe I'll go on with this guy then. What the fuck is going on with this dude? Lily, I've started to realize how I really feel. Like, I like what we have now, but if all we, if we all keep studying and eventually pass the exam, we'll go our separate ways. And I'm not sure I'm ready for that. For you and I, we're never going to change. Isn't that right? Change is inevit inevitable. You should embrace it and learn to build new relationships. It's not what you were supposed to say. Thanks, Ericus. Thanks, Xehanort. 
I've made up my mind. The longer I stay in this bubble, the harder it'll be for me to leave. I don't even know what they, where, where are you got what are you doing? Let's go, Vidar! What 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 you gotta do? Can't we come too? Oh, okay, there's a portal over there. Well, that's interesting. Her heart and her mind are made up. Four. Yeah, see, look at that. See, they, yeah, this is clearly a story that could not have been told with another character, right? So now we're, we also get characterization for her, which is great. This is, yeah, good. I, I'm good. I'm glad these aren't just going to be some random four dudes that amount to jack shit. Hey, Baldur's down there. So, why do you all want to become Keyblade Masters? I want to become a fucking god, that's why. It was more of an obligation at first. Like a family tradition. But now I know in my heart that I need to become one and put an end to darkness once and for all. So what's, I, I can't remember what reference, I think somebody commented on this. It's, it's some, something somewhere talks about how apparently Ericus comes from like a long line, like a lineage or something of like Hewley masters. So he's got like, he's got like pure blood in him or some shit. So yeah. But now I, I know in my heart that I need to become one and put an end to darkness once and for all. Serious much? For me, it's easy. I want to do what's right. I agree that power and justice go hand in hand. My dream is to learn and explore. If I become a Keyblade Master, I'll be able to see all the worlds for myself. I want to protect what's important to me. What you all said. Plus, I want to uphold the greater order. Simple as that. I want to get some dark shit. <laughs> I want to get some dark shit and get really bald and say, enlighten me, and then get a really annoying boss fight with Sora in this data shit. And they're all like, yeah, that was going to be my second option too. I don't know why, but I have friends. I want to see again. Wait, why would you need to become a Keyblade Master for that? Fine, don't tell me. Four, what about you? Oh, me, uh, I. I'm not telling. Nana and Boo Boo, wishes don't come true if you say them out loud. So now none of you will get to become a Keyblade Masters. Ha, in your face, in your face. Hey, no fair, fuck. Damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, yay! We're frolicking! No, I'm gonna fucking kill you! Come on, bro. Get over it. The Dwarf Woodlands. I'm guessing it's mocking the end of this world. I... Oh. Were they really dropping the tile car that late? What the fuck? Holy shit. Okay. 64 years later. 64. Look at, oh my God. My fucking beautiful bald self showing up here. Oh my God. No, it is the end of the world. Um, so he did. Okay. I wasn't sure if like Xehanort had like a weird aging thing. Like, I don't know. Cause he's got these pointy ears, right? I was thinking like, maybe he just like ages different than everybody else. But okay. Nah, I just, I'm just fucking old. Regular weird old. Hey, I'm back! The mirror's like, oh god. You look hella weird. Why are you voiced by Christopher Lloyd? What happened to the other other two guys? What wouldst thou know? Do you recognize me? A young boy then, now a man grown. Fewer hairs grace thy head, but you are known. Don't talk about my shiny head! A demonstration of my resolve. What else wouldst thou know? Wait, what? I'm sorry. Are they, a demonstration of my, you're, you're bald because of a demonstration of your resolve? What? 
We're gonna give some dumb lore reason why you're actually bald and not just because you're older? Over the years, I've lost many comrades. Some passed on while others chose a different path. However, there will always be a special place in my heart. For those friends I never met, save in my dreams as a young lad. Alas, my efforts to find them have been in vain. I don't even know their names, but I can see their faces still. I ask you, did they ever exist? Or were they merely a figment of my imagination? Much lies beyond our world, even more beyond our time. Some in this world reside. Their toll has yet to chime. How can you be sure? Without even their names. Your heart speaks more clearly than your words. Where are they now? Where indeed? Who the fuck is he? Amongst an ocean of keys on a vast barren land. Is he talking about the foretellers? A boy bearing great light and darkness shall stand. Sora? Oh! The Keyblade Graveyard. Oh! Oh my god. No, he's talking about then. Oh, uh, yeah, nice. boy be bearing great light and darkness dust, darkness dust stand. Oh, uh, this is how he finds out where Ven is. Interesting. He didn't just stumble upon him while just, you know, moseying through the Keyblade graveyard, you know, having a spot of tea. Interesting. So wait, so what friends is he referring to? The friends that he never got to meet? Is he talking about the, the other people that he was looking for? But he has, he knew the names of them, I think. At least the one guy that showed up. Hmm. Uh, Cruel Clues End. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so he wants to go talk to the mirror again to learn. That's how we learn where Ven is, and that's essentially what's gonna lead to that whole fucking can of worms. It's funny, it's like, that's not, a, hey, look at this. It's like, that's not a question I was ever thinking. It's like the same thing as like, why did Maleficent show up, you know, when they, the bird came in and dropped her cape and Kingdom Hearts 2 and she just fucking, you know, morphed into herself. It wasn't ever, I was just like, okay, magic bullshit. But then, no, Nomura's like gonna come back years later and like fucking give us the, the deep deets on this shit, right? It's the same thing here. It was like, I bet you were really wondering, right? Why did fucking Master Xehanort go to the fucking Keyblade Graveyard and stumble upon Ven? I'm like, I don't know. He's just out on a walk. No, motherfucker. He talked to the mirror. It's interesting, though. Okay, is this going to be before he's met Ven? 54 years later. No. Oh, no. This is going to be long before this. Actually, I think even, I think Ericus actually looks technically younger. Xehanort's still bald as fuck, though. Yeah, so this, no, this is going to be way before he, uh, he didn't even go talk to the mirror yet. There is a reason that precepts bar us from such knowledge. Why do you seek the Keyblade? Would you blanket all the worlds in darkness, reduce them to nothing? But darkness did cover the world once, in legend. We know so little about the Keyblade War, only that it was just the beginning. Amidst that crisis, a precious light was found. It is a curious tale and one worth exploring. They say ruin brings about creation. So what then would another Keyblade War bring? When the darkness falls, will we be found worthy of the precious light the legend speaks of? I must have these answers. Oh, we've actually seen this. We've seen this cutscene before. This was in a flashback, though, I believe. Yeah. This is actually a, this, that's right. This is actually a flashback in Birth by Sleep. And it showed, like, the falling out between him and er, him and Ericus. The Keyblade needs to be forged. And with it, the door to the Keyblade War unlocked. Fool. You would risk an apocalypse out of sheer curiosity. I will never allow it, Xehanort. Not while I live. Once again, you have it all wrong, Ericus. Darkness is a beginning. You see, not an end. At birth, every one of us emerges from darkness into a world of light. Do we not? Poetic excuses. It 
if words won't dissuade you. Only one thing will. Oh, that's right. This also, I guess, is rah! That's right. And this also gets a scar. Right in the face. That power. Has the darkness taken you, Sayonort? Not your concern. I actually like they're showing these scenes, too. I knew it. Xehanort. can never let it go. Your mind is made up. Seven years later, okay. So he gets the Keyblade, and then he's got the the Master's uh, Keyblade, I guess, which is like, I guess it, the that the specifically Ericus's Keyblade is like one that's passed down maybe through his own lineage or something. Well, the all-seeing one is, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. Kingdom Hearts is the only way. What about our duty as Keyblade wielders? Our duty is to protect the world. This is the path we must take. To think we became Keyblade Masters only a year ago, and now this. We were both given the title, but you alone are the true heir. Yeah. You were bequeathed the Keyblade from the era of the Lost Masters. You were supposed to have inherited their weapon and the resolve. Since coming here nine years ago, I've contemplated what it means to protect the world. This decision did not come easily. But summoning Kingdom Hearts is a drastic measure. How can you be so sure that that's the answer? And how can you be so sure it's not? Life has taught us far different lessons. Do you stand in my way as a true Keyblade Master? No, as a true friend. Arrgh! Cool. All right, back to where we're pals again. Episode five, the key to each world's order. What up, guys? Master Odin wasn't there. How did things end up like this? And now we can't even ask the master whether or not we should continue our task. I vote to keep going. Me too. Wait, he vanished, Odin? I think it's what we he would want us to do. And leave Vor behind. No one's saying that. I still don't understand exactly what happened. But I'm sure we'll run into war and Vidar again somewhere. I I'm not. When she left, it felt like she was saying goodbye forever. If only I tried harder to stop her. We don't even know what they're trying to do. Like, we're just like, I'd be a hella, I'm hella fucking confused. If I were them, I'd be like, what the fuck is going on? Why was he like talking like that? And why did she leave us? I guess she feels that by going with him that she'll accomplish something, but she doesn't even know what she's doing either, I don't think. What should we do? I want to find her and bring her back. How? Are we still going to go save them though? There's a mirror in dwarf woodlands that can answer any question. It can tell us where she is. I'm in. I'm worried about her too. What about you? I want to focus on the task at hand. Oh. Wait, really? Vidar said he'd return once he was done with whatever he needed to do. 
If so, he and Vor should show up sooner or later. Maybe they will, or maybe he's just using her to complete this goal of his. Even if he is, she'll be fine. She's tough. She doesn't need our help. I know, but... I thought you actually cared about your friends. Don't I? What about you? Would a friend try to manipulate someone's beliefs just because they don't line up with their own? I think a good friend would help them see the error of their ways. Wow! This is a lovely characterization we're getting. You know, as, as time has sort of gone on, right? Because the first time you play Birth by Sleep, you kind of just sort of see like, oh yeah, look at that evil as fuck looking old guy, right? And Ericus is mostly just like, yes, good, good guy, Mark Hamill, Obi-Wan, like good, dark, bad. You kind of just see from that perspective, right? And then as the story kind of goes on a little bit, you're, you're a little bit like... I'm not totally sure about this when he's like, I'm gonna, we need to kill Ven, you know, and Tara uses darkness to beat him and fucking kill him. Or, well, beat him and then Sarah comes out and kills him. But, you know, it, it was Tara's fault anyway. But it's like every other instance now from then, as we've sort of been looking at Ericus, you've seen that Ericus is insanely fucking stubborn, right? Like a stubborn as hell, even more stubborn than honestly Xehanort is. And it's like he, this is sort of an interesting thing where he's like, he's kind of like cares about his friend, but like, He's sort of also like, yeah, trying to insert what he feels like. Yeah, you, you fucking get back here. Things have to be this way because I say so, right? And Xehanort's kind of like, well, dude, just fucking take it down a few notches, which is kind of funny. Who's to decide what's right and what's wrong? Unless you know of someone who has a heart of pure light with no trace of shadow. That's what a Keyblade Master is, and that's the kind of person I want to become. Again, with the Keyblade Master, it's just a title. You have to work hard and prove yourself to give it any meaning. That's enough. Braggy, you're coming with me, aren't you? Um, of course, he's a friend, right? Sorry for being difficult. We have to do what we believe is right. Yeah, so he's focused on trying to get her back. And Zeros is like, let's just focus on our actual task, which is to find these guys and, and bring them back maybe if we can. They seemingly have something going on. And they're gone. You know, Ericus, once he's an idea in his head. Are you sure about this, Sayonort? Even if we take different paths to locate the missing upperclassmen, we're bound to arrive at the same destination. Erica should follow his heart on this one. You two really do have a special sort of a friendship. I wish I had that. All I've got is this cool collar around my neck. It kind of covers my chin, too. It's pretty dope. Well, now that's settled. We should be on our way. Sayonor, do you think we could use that mirror you was talking about? I doubt it. We left something of an impression on the, the queen, so getting close to it would be tricky. And if we did, it might trap us again. Who knows if we were able to find our way out a second time. Let's be honest, that mirror's just OP, okay? We can't keep going back there. All right, a different world it is. Let's jump in the gate and head somewhere new. Where are we going now? Toy Story World! <laughs> Woody's gonna chew, chew Zaynort the fuck out again. He's like, what the fuck, dude? Leave me alone! <laughs> ah, meanwhile, I'm just over here being old. And he's here. He returned. Yes. I've come to say goodbye. Be vigilant. Darkness, like no other, may soon be upon us. Well, yes. Dark entities like the Heartless already reside in the other worlds. What I speak of is true darkness. True darkness? I don't recall learning about that. What is it? How is it different? Thirteen ancient darknesses came into existence long ago. Yeah, this is what was part of Master of Master's plan. These most primitive of shadows are said to be true darkness. 
They exist without form and are the source of most darkness in this world. Darkness without form. The seven most powerful ones were imprisoned within the Keyblade Masters of Yore, who had offered themselves as vessels and came to be called the Lost Masters. Right. Of the six shadows that remained, four were trapped by Keyblade wielders in the realm between of another world. Right. Wait, hold on. Of the six that remained, yeah. That's right. This is again what we saw at the end. The wielders in the realm between a, of another world. Two are said to have been destroyed when the world collapsed. But of that, there is no proof. You believe true darkness has returned? I do. And so I implore you to remember that the unknown you fear must not simply be regarded as darkness. You must learn to distinguish between the many different shadows. True darkness is no exception. Though unseen for a great many years, we must proceed with caution. So man, there's more of these fucking letters now. Oh, Beauty and the Beast. Beast's gonna be in there all hangry and shit. It's something all right. Not to sound like Ericus, but I think I finally know what darkness feels like. If you were here, he'd turn right around and go home. Definitely. <laughs> Ericus is over, fucking sneezes somewhere. He's like, you bitches. Achoo! <laughs> ha <laughs> That's funny. I fucking called that shit, didn't I? And of course, there's a fucking. They're gonna get caught, right? Dude, sorry. Who the fucking fuck? But did I really not hear that? It's a waste of time. Come on, we need to think of something else. Alright, let's go. Damn it! Somebody sneeze in here, I swear to God, if I catch a cold. She sits there all day and talks that fucking thing. Help, Mama Lemire! It's a little teacup. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there. Okay, we beat him. Whoa, thanks for saving me. My name's Chip. Are you gonna be guests at the castle? Actually, no. We're looking for... Hey, you're... I oh, don't... No. Follow me! This way! Da, 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 da. That's it. We can't just stay here and do nothing. Oh, hush now. I know it's frustrating, but what can we do? If the master refuses to help himself and stays hidden away... Can we blame him? The rose was stolen from right under his nose. He's devastated. Hey, uh, folks. Mama, I brought people. What's a girl? Chip, what are you doing here? It's past your bedtime. I know, but I woke up and went to find you, and then the monsters found me. But my new friends see me. New friends, who are you? Mont Montrudez? No way. She's a girl. Oh. Well, yes, but how is that important? Well, Mayor, have you forgotten what happened last time? Yeah, of course not. Oh, is this actually before Bell arrives? This might be. Yeah, I think it might be. I think they're actually try they're gonna try to hook her up with with Beast. But this is the only way to break this spell. But without the rose... Is something wrong? 
My name is Erd, and that's Hermit and Xehanort. Maybe we can help. Well, at least you're polite. I'm Cogsworth, heads of the head of the household. And I am Lumaire. Mrs. Potts? And you can call me Wardrobe, because I'm a Wardrobe. If you must know, a short while ago, two visitors arrived at the castle. Highly suspicious, for we rarely receive guests. But Lumaire welcomed them and took them to see the master. Unfortunately, they were to the wary travelers they claimed to be. Those scoundrels stole an enchanted rose. Damn thing just keeps getting stolen, then fucking way down the line, fucking Zolda's gonna come here and steal it again. Just then, the master's been beside himself and afraid we've been at a loss. I see. What if we help you get the rose back? You could do that. What a wonderful idea. And once you have returned, you may stay as long as you like. That's not necessary, but we will help you. You're gonna help them, just like that. That's what we do. I have a feeling that whoever took the rose might have something to do with our task. You think it was the upperclassmen? We'll need to track them down to know for sure. First things first, I'd like to talk to this master of yours. Where can we find him? Well, we're grateful for your help. The master is, how shall I put it, not overly sociable. And after the incident with the rose, he's been quite irritable and difficult. It's okay. I deal with difficult people all the time. <laughs> don't say I didn't warn you. His chambers are in the West Wing. Whatever you do, don't tell him we sent you. Oh god, he's gonna be super fucking cranky. Bell's not even here yet. Oh, he's all f no, he's all sad. Oh, damn it! Fucking stupid Rose. Huh? Huh? Who are you? What are you doing here? You must be the owner of this castle. My name's Hermit. Xehanort. I'm Erd. We heard about your rose, and... That's none of your business. Get out! Your weapons. Oh, uh, yeah, he's gonna think we're part of that group, probably. Now, where were we? Whoa! Those keys, I've seen their like before. Was it your friends who stole my rose? No, we're here to help you get it back. We were hoping you could tell us what, we ha what happened. You're lying. You're just like them. He's not gonna listen. We can't turn our weapons on a resident of this world. Let's go. That is not Sora. Fucking beat the shit out of him. Doll's like, well, all right, well, all right, fuck you. Good, he's not following us. I guess you were right. Not that I'm happy about it. But at least now we know that two upperclassmen stole the rose. Why would they do that? Do you think it could be part of the exam? Your guess is as good as mine. I'm just glad we have a lead. It's not much, but we know who did it. But we don't know why or where they are. Are you sure you're not upset about Ericus? I'm seeing some hostility. Just stating the facts. Let's tell the others what we've learned. Maybe this piece of information will lead to something more. Go slide off screen there. Man, those stairs seem a lot bigger than they were in Kingdom Hearts. Oh, two. Holy shit. One is bad enough, but two. Two? Oh, so you're not as scary as the castle's master. 
and we outnumber them. Ba, ba, ba. That's true. Let's do it, baby. Let's boogie. The hell's he going? Going after it. You two stay here and take care of this one. Uh-oh. Bonk. Gotcha! Gotcha! Suddenly more friends. What? Guess I spoke too soon. I won't give up. I can't. May my heart be my guiding key, motherfuckers! Gotta go out and blaze the glory. I know it's two against one, but this is rough. Greater numbers don't guarantee victory. You're the one who said we outnumber them like it mattered. You dumbass. I'm worried about Erd. Let's finish this and go after her. Erd. Agreed. Hermit, go check on the castle servants. No, I'm coming with you. I'm coming. Don't worry. She only needs one of us to outnumber it. Not that again. Make sure she's okay. I will. I will. I think I said she thought she was my back to be dead. Ah, oh, blow, now she is. Come on, guys, let's dance around her. Sir Dominance. All right, that's enough. Who's there? Who the? Oh, it's oh, one of the upperclassmen. Hold that thought. Check this shit out, boy. Come on, you're in the upper class. You still have the same basic bitch keyblade. I guess I have something cooler. But actually, I guess the point of this whole thing is the mark of mastery and the gum keyblade masters. And I guess they'll get something different. I'll start with this fucking basic bitch thing. Blech. I should do that at least. Whoa, damn, boy. You're Vala, one of the upper classmen we're looking for. I look a little bit like Riku's. I, I got Riku's drip here. You stand, stand strong even in the face of a tremendous threat. Your light shines even brighter within the darkness of chaos. Which means my vision has yet to fail me. I've been waiting for you. What? <laughs> I thought we were looking for you. Also, if you were waiting for me, why were you hiding? Because I needed to be certain I was right. Right? About what? I've been watching you. I think you're hot. We should date. Determine whether or not you are capable of helping us achieve our goal. Your goal? But I was just saying about that too. What is it you're trying to accomplish? You ask a lot of questions. Well, yeah, that's what you fucking do. Just believe, stupid! No, how about you just fucking tell me? Such a beautiful grand piano. This must be a ballroom. Not a place for conversation. Oh, for God's sakes. But dancing in celebration. It's not an answer, you motherfucker. Perhaps my lenses and judgment were clouded. I expected more obedience. What the fuck? My task is to bring you back home. What the fuck? I don't know you, dude. Let's do whatever you say or go wherever it is you want me to go. Good on you, Erd. That's a shame. The fuck? Why are all these upper class with me so fucking weird? Well, until we meet again, which we will sooner than you think. Keep that light shining bright. Dude, wow, with fucking Xehanort other guy taking forever to get here. Oh, and if you can return this. <gasps> Ninja Keyblade Master! So it was you. It's no ordinary rose. It's essential to this world's order. Keep it safe. Ah, uh, so they did that to test us, I guess. Bye, Ninja Keyblade guy. Oh. Oh, he was watching. 
essential to the order. See, we're friends now. Give me that thing. My precious rose. Mm. All right, get the fuck out. You're welcome. I'm not nice yet, okay? Bell's not here, okay? I'm a bachelor. I'm all horny every day. It sucks. I fuck off. Please, would you reconsider our invitation to stay? This motherfucker looks like he's got to be like, like, he's at least like a decade older than her. Come on, get, get out of here. How old even are we supposed to be at this point? Thanks, but I have a home. Important responsibilities. Help him keep his spirits up, okay? His wish will come true. I know it. Eventually. It's going to take a few games. Of course. I swear to God, I'm still this fucking ruse. I'm going to fucking... He's sort of staring at it. Yeah. Yeah, it's Rose hot. Yeah. Yeah, you'll never fucking try on me, will you, Rose? Yeah. We jumping around time again? One year later. Walking through the darkness. Drumming on a street light. Oh, one year after the upperclassmen went missing. It was decided we would be tested for the market mastery. Before the exam, wielders must journey to the outside worlds to broaden their horizons. For the upperclassmen, this was the trip that led to the series of unfortunate events. Ordinarily, this is the first opportunity for a Keyblade wielder to see other worlds. But yeah, they got it early. However, we had already gotten a glimpse of what was out there. Even so, being abroad away again evokes different emotions than before. Perhaps that past experience affected my heart more than I realized. Or perhaps these feelings were born when I left the island and first walked through these gates. And only now, they are coming to the surface. Turbulent emotions which flood this corridor no more than anyone could bear. To even try would allow darkness to devour you. My armor provides protection. Yet every time I pass through, the darkness seeps further into my heart. Suck that shit up. I can feel it, faint though it may be. But if my heart is strong enough, maybe it could weather this maelstrom? For if this is my destiny... Don't need this fucking armor! Hit me, baby! What the fuck? What? Who the fuck is that? Master Masters? Lushu? So you're the singularity. Uh. Well, that's interesting. What the fuck? I don't know if that's Lushu, because the thing is like, well... He ran into, he only runs into Lushu when it's Brig, right? Unless that's Lushu like, oh, hey. I don't actually have, I have no idea. It could be Lushu maybe, or I, I think it might be the Master of Masters. It, maybe. Tang it on the dankness. Okay, episode five, the key to each world's order. And. Is this the, oh, weird. I wonder why the end scene there. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, wait. We saw the scene at some point, didn't we? I think we did, actually. But there was a scene where I think we saw... Oh, yeah. 
Oh, fuck. That was... Was this in Kingdom Hearts 3? Where the fuck was the scene? I think this might have been in Remind. Where, yeah, we see young Xehanort wake up in the Keebla graveyard. I think it is the Master of Masters. Morning! You can tell from his mannerisms, too. One year later. Or still one year later. Shortly after that scene we saw. Who are you? Who am I? Let's see. I could introduce myself as Theodore or Jack, but I can't prove that's really who I am. So, what's the point? <sighs> hey! I saved your life, you know. You, what? Oh. Yeah, and that, that's his theme. That's the master's theme. I was taking a leisurely stroll when I spotted you passed out on the ground without any protection. Let me guess. You thought your heart was strong enough to withstand the darkness in there. Is that it? Or did you just take a wrong turn somewhere? Wait, are you a terrorist? Well, what about you? Why were you there? Whoa, calm down, sit. Let's talk. I used to be a Keyblade wielder. More or less. Really? I never heard of you. Like I said, used to be. More or less. How can I trust you? What? Oh, it took his... Whoa. Ta-da! See? Trust me now. Even less. Ouch. Well, anywho... I just wanted to warn you that going through the, those these gates expo exposed is a no-no. I think this was. The, you guys can remind me. Was this in Remind? I think it was. I think I remember this. This seems vaguely familiar. Fine. Here. Take it. Yeah, and he gives him the cloak. What's this? A fabulous garment. It's a little out of fashion compared to that armor of yours. But it provides better protection. The armor's a newer style, more suited to combat. But these coats can withstand way more darkness. If you think you can tough it out without the armor, you ought to make the switch. Are you trying to sell me this coat? No, no, it's free! I promise. Still don't trust you. Stubborn, huh? How'd you end up in there anyway? I'm in the middle of my journey to prepare for the Mark of Mastery exam. You what? I thought you said you used to be a Keyblade wielder. More or less. Right. Well, anyone who's qualified to take the exam needs to travel to the outside worlds alone to broaden their horizons. Ugh. Sounds like work. It's part of the training. Still. Hey, you asked. So your trip's not over yet? No. In that case... Maybe you can do me a favor. You know, since I gave you that coat. I thought you said it was free. I just need you to take a peek. At what? People's hearts. Huh? Human emotions are complex. For, for example, what you feel towards someone you love isn't always good or well-meaning. It can be a false kind of light. Which begs the question, are these messy feelings that emerge from love still light? Or are they darkness? Whoa, where did that come from? The dark thoughts that dwell inside most hearts bubble to the surface. Would we drag others down? There are those with power and those without. 
those who possess it harbor feelings of superiority and judgment. And those who don't, inferiority and envy. The weak who fear the strong desire to strip them of their power. So, who are you? Someone with power or someone without? One of the strong or one of the weak? People shouldn't be categorized in extremes. And even if I was either type, it doesn't mean that I carry those dark intentions. Is that what your experience tells you? This trip is supposed to broaden your horizons, right? What I'm asking from you will help with that. In the meantime, I'll be waiting right here for you to get back. Huh? I look forward to hearing all about it. Hold on a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was. Hold on, I want to see this shit. I'm going to watch the whole thing, but it's been so fucking long since I saw this. Is it just like the exact same scene we just saw? Oh, no, this is him returning. After giving him the code. So? So we might actually see this scene actually in a bit at some point, but I, I, I fuck you. I'm going to watch it here. If we do, we can just skip over it. Yeah. It wards off darkness. It's useful. Told ya. So, how'd it go? The tour. I learned the reason for my existence. Oh! <laughs> Tell me more. All around the world, people live seemingly peaceful lives. They believe themselves to be moral and virtuous, but it's all an act. Darkness lurks in the pit of everyone's heart. Their light is a total farce. Sounds like your trip around the world opened your eyes, but you got a little bit more than you anticipated. You must have seen a lot of darkness. Those who are weak, and who desire greater power, simply strip the strong of their power and convince themselves they've earned it. That's how people become tainted by darkness. They believe what they want to believe, using hollow reasons as justification. They repeat this cycle, and their darkness grows. So you're saying the weak feel the need to justify their actions to maintain a sense of self. Can't let that slide? <laughs> no. It's better they be ruled by darkness. People carry delusions of having power, but it's a lie. They are but sheep pretending to be wolves. Though I admit, I can understand why. Oh, I've never heard that one before. A Keyblade wielder willing to side with the darkness? Why not just let them be until the darkness consumes them? This guy... This guy is... In sight. Wow. He is the most manipulative motherfucker in this series, isn't he? This guy, he's, he's quite, quite literally using Xehanort as well, right? He's he referred to him as the singularity. He, he needs him. He's using him for in some way right, for his plan. I think that's what is inevitably leads the Keyblade coming back to, to Ziggy, to Lushu, so that he can bring the, the foretellers into the future or something. But you see that he's just luring him along here, right? Because left alone... The world would fall to chaos. There needs to be order. You sure about that? Why not just sit back and watch it play out? Understanding hearts is difficult. 
more so the emotions within. I simply realize that it's easy to dismiss what you don't comprehend. All right, all right. The world needs you. I'll grant you that one. I don't know what I can do, but I will act. What comes next is too important. I suppose letting false light dictate the future might be a pretty lousy move. So, you can make a change. You have that power. What do you want for the world? Power, eh? Who knows? My training's coming to an end, and the exam's not far off. I will say, seeing this this scene now again with this with with actual like the context of everything that we've seen beforehand, right? And even that scene that literally came beforehand that we did not see, right? Like, I remember when we originally saw this, I was like, "What the fuck is going fucking on?" Like, huh? When did they run into each other? What the heck? It, blah, blah, blah. So it's actually neat to see now see that scene, this scene after what we just saw in all, and also the the other stuff uh, part of Dark Road is really cool. Maybe I can gain some clarity then. You're letting the exam decide? Listen to me. The results don't matter. You believe the world needs you. Sounds like you already know where you're headed. It's funny. Somehow, I can sense where I'm supposed to go and what I'm supposed to do. Yes, even this coat. There's something familiar about it. As if I'm meant to wear this. Hmm. No. You'll ditch it soon. Huh. What do you mean? I mean that one day you're going to outgrow it. How so? If you truly possess great power, the darkness can't control you. You won't need a silly old coat to stay safe. In fact, you'll be the one controlling the darkness instead. Me, on the other hand, I'm too much of a scaredy cat to ever take mine off. Who are you, really? Some kind of fortune teller? Well, I could lie and tell you that's what I am when I'm actually a brilliant artist, or even a scholar. I could tell you that I dream of world peace when I'm actually planning for its destruction. The truth is what you see with your eyes, not what you hear. So, your name? What did I just... Never mind. I guess there's no harm. Ah, My name that's right. is... I do wonder if that's going to tie into anything at some point, you know, what his actual name is. I'm a lost master. The master of master's true name, potentially. Lost master? Like it'll hold some significance. May your heart be your guiding key. Is that it? 75 years later. Hey, old man. Ah, uh, okay. I think all the the rest of this is. Yeah, blah blah blah. Find those seven vessels. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then they talk about one of the of the heart must. Be, okay, this is just has more to Kingdom Hearts three shit. But uh, interesting, very interesting. All right, let's go back to what we were watching before. I would not be surprised if that scene we just watched actually shows up in here at some point. Um, episode six, uncertain order. Jaffa, Iago. Sands of time. Reveal to me the one who can enter the cave. The diamond in the rough, rough, rough. That's our Latin. Three. Even better. My diamonds in the rough, rough. Sheesh. Hope you're right this time. If they fail, oh well. They are merely a secondary plan. <laughs> Fucking Yaga, Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, rest in peace, Gilbert Godfrey. I wonder if the others are here. 
I don't know, but I do know this is the only world Master Odin primed for us that we haven't searched yet. What do you think, Erd? 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 Oh, um, sorry. Did you say something? Is everything okay? Um, yeah. What was the question? Do you think Ericus and Braggy are here? You're the one who said we should go and find them. Been a little distracted since we left the castle. What's wrong? You can tell. Well, the thing is, I ran to Vala and Vali. If you don't want to talk about it, it's fine, Erd. No, I do. If anything, I should have told you sooner. Follow us. Oh, how dreadful. Hold that thought. I suppose I must venture into the cave myself. Yeah, don't do it, Jafar. It's too dangerous. You'll never make it out alive. The sacrifice I am willing to make. Look at the state of our dear kingdom. The hunger, the children forced to steal food. I can't bear to watch them suffer any longer. If only I had the lamp, I could restore peace to our beloved home. Ah, but you're the royal vizier. Without you, who's gonna advise the Sultan? Agrabah's future will be nothing but pain and darkness. You may be right, but... Excuse me. Why? You must be travelers. Welcome to Agrabah. Regretfully, we are unable to provide you with the hospitality you so deserve. That's okay. Actually, we overheard your conversation. I want to know if you needed any help. Oh, how embarrassing. We could never accept such a kind offer. But if you insist, <laughs> fucking look at each other. Fetch me the lamp from inside the Cave of Wonders. With it, I can save the kingdom. It's the only way. Why not send your soldiers? Say it, Hort. Yeah, you must have other options. <laughs> I've been telling him the same thing, but he won't listen. Jafar thinks he's got to put himself in danger to open the Sultan's eyes. In that case, maybe we you, sh you should be the one... Unfortunately, the gods of Agrabah and I have faced the dangers of the cave many times. With no success. We are battered and exhausted. Another attempt may well be the end of us. Of the end of me. <laughs> Alright, we... What? Xehanort? Oh, I'm truly grateful. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, kind of, again, kind of skipped over that again. Alright, we get it. I, I guess we get it. Wait, <laughs> cover it up. I guess he thought he was agreeing with them. How can I ever thank you? <laughs> Sarah stuck his hand like, ew. Are you sure about the saying, Art? Sure enough. I guess he did. So I guess he said, okay, enough. We'll, we'll go get it or something. When I covered up, you can't even see what he had the rest of what he said. Again, because of the same thing I was saying before, where it looks like, it's like he interrupts him, but it's, it's like he's responding to something he said before he's even finished saying it. Hey, who disturbs my slumber? I'm Hermit! Erd! Say an art. Proceed, touch nothing but the lamp. Get inside me! Ugh, I don't know if I want to do it now that you say it like that. Do it, get in there! I wonder what else could be down here. Well, no matter. We find. Let's remember not to touch anything. Not that any of us would be so stupid and. Ooh, be scanny! <laughs> well, one of us might be. He definitely might. But don't worry, Briggy's not here. Br Briggy's there to make sure Ericus doesn't get into trouble. That's your far. I don't trust him. Keep your guard up. 
We might be in for a surprise. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because even if this is some sort of hoax, it's still a chance to search parts of this world we otherwise couldn't. That's true. You're right. Then let's keep an eye out for Ericus and Braggy and anything unusual. <sighs> Hi, carpet. Ow. That's a carpet, right? It certainly is. Yep. Walking like a person. <laughs> Let's pretend we didn't see anything. And I thought Wonderland was strange. Oh, Ericus is here. That's Ericus, right? certainly is. Yep. Walking like a carpet. Let's pretend we... N never mind. We don't have time for this. Let's go. Poor carpet. Sorry. Yeah, we for a Latin carpet. Treasure is forbidden. Touch nothing but the lamp. What was that? Ah! Sound like a warning. But first things first, we need to deal with these heartless. Right! Huzzah! Ah, that was a great fight. <laughs> so there's treasure? A lot of it. Yeah, up ahead. Then we better hurry. Erica's gonna fuck this up. We all about to get eat. <sighs> no! Stop! You idiot! Hey, Xehanort! Xehanort! What are you doing? Me? Oh, I was... Are you supposed to be looking for Vor? Oh, we are. It is asked to fetch a lamp to save this world. Man, he sure sent a lot of people in here, didn't he? So were we. Xehanort, maybe you were right about Jafar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The world is in trouble. That much is true. But I sense darkness inside Jafar. And he's desperate to get his hands on that lamp. Darkness? So he tricked us? All I know is that when he took my hand, I felt its greed. He covets power. No stop at nothing to obtain it. Even overthrow the Sultan? I guess we're done he just done here then. searching for the lamp. Why? We don't know that guy anything. Not for him. I think the lamp is essential for maintaining this world's order. Really? Why's that? Well, let me start from the beginning. Blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you the entire movie of, uh, of Aladdin here. So you're saying that the upperclassmen are after the lamp. You said way more than that. Let me get this straight. For whatever reason, the upperclassmen are trying to steal what's essential to each world's order. Earth thinks that this lamp Jafar is after is, is it. And that the upperclassmen may come to take it for themselves. Got it, got it. That's what I just said. Let's keep looking for the lamp. And we'll deal with whatever happens when when or if it happens. Improvising! I like it. I must be rubbing off on you. I sure hope not. Get the fuck away, Ray. No, you demon touch me! Alright, now we're here. Oh man, look at that fat fuck. 
Oh man, these two. Jesus Christ. I guess remember this fight actually being a little hard. They're not gonna let us go through without a fight. Ba, ba, ba. At least I'm critical when I play the game a billion years ago. Should be up ahead. Let's go. It's funny, we never actually see this in uh, any of Kingdom Hearts because Aladdin already has the lamp when we find him. This is it. Well, well. So the lamp is essential. I see you talk to Vala. Then you know why I'm here. I guess I think, right? He, he had it in Kingdom Hearts 1 already. I'm trying to remember exactly how that one went. I, I think he did. Yeah, I think it was like already like, they're like, like already like midway into the movie at that, at that point when we showed up. Why are you doing this? More importantly, where's Vor? I ate her. I vored her. Right here. Hi. Four, you're okay. Let's go home forever. No! I'm gonna stay at home Vidar doing whatever the dumb thing he's doing. You can't be serious. Do you even know what you're doing? <laughs> do you know what they're doing? <laughs> do they know? Do you know what they're doing? They're stealing items that are vital to maintaining each world's order. Who know? Who know? Hey, there's a typo there. Who knows what that'll do to the world? It's not right. Yes, taking the items upset the balance of the worlds. But what we're hoping to find is true light that shines even in the face of confusion and uncertainty. So you're using the worlds for your plan. I'm willing to do anything if it's a means to defeating darkness. Wouldn't you, Ericus? Well, I... I agree that we need to banish darkness. But at what cost? We defeated Kalos Dark and Dark Enemies the old-fashioned way. Why go this far? In order to defeat true darkness, we need to gather seven lights. We need to replace the lights that we've lost. A task with which we have Vor's help. Oh, do they lose one of their upperclassmen or some shit? I don't have a clue about true darkness and how much of it, a th how, how much of a threat it is, but upsetting each world's order is the worst thing you can do. Don't upset the order, huh? That's what we were taught to, too. Hey, we finally see everybody. There's a little chunky girl back there. To prepare for the Marker Master, you will travel the worlds beyond to broaden your horizons. There you will observe all manner of order. Some of you may not comprehend, but you must still respect. Oh, I see you. I see uh, the sister to Balder right there. Yeah, I, I think it was sister. Uh, it looks just like him. You must not disturb the balance. Even if it's rooted in darkness. Yes. You do not yet possess the ability to distinguish between light and shadow. But we're already learned so much. Yeah, more than enough to go and knock some sis at anyone. Who thinks they know better? Don't be rash. We must proceed carefully. Even if we be, if being careful costs us time we don't have I don't think we'll need to worry about anything I believe in the light in people's hearts we were so focused on what we were taught that we lost sight of what was important 
What was that? Our friends, the ones of light that were supposed to fight with us. They're gone, and they're never coming back. And to make their sure their efforts weren't in vain, we need to defeat darkness at any cost. Which one of their friends died? Erkis, we want the same thing. So I ask of you, take this and find light that's strong enough to accomplish our shared goal. I want to banish darkness, and I'm willing to do anything. At least, I thought I was. Thinking of what it might cost scares me. Maybe I'm not prepared for this after all. It's okay, Ericus. None of us have the knowledge or experience to decide. When you do eventually become a Keyblade Master, you may find yourself having to make this very same decision. And maybe then, you'll know what to do. Mine! <laughs> I was just gonna grab the lamp. Xanar's right, this is too much for any of us. Xehanort, you guys, thank you. We're way over our heads. Let's go talk to Master Odin. We can find his old ass. Wait, but what about Jafar? Fuck that guy. He's waiting for us. So, who cares? Yeah, it's best we steer clear of him. That's it? No big finale? Damn it, I guess I'm just gonna wait a few games. Oh fuck, I'm gonna I knew it. I'm gonna see the same fucking scene here, aren't I? Alright, if, if it is, I'm gonna probably hop through it a bit, because it's I mean, to be fair, it's it's literally the same scene, but we, we saw but voiced. Uh so, yeah, it totally is. Yeah. It wards off darkness. It's useful. Told ya! Yeah. So, how to go? The tour. Okay, okay. Yep, it's the exact same scene. So, let's see where it ends. Uh, okay. Buh, buh, buh. So, your name. What did I just... <laughs> Never mind. I guess there's no harm. My name is. You fucker. God damn it. I was like, maybe I'll sew the name here this time. I'm a lost master. Lost master. May your heart be your guiding key. Mmm. Damn, man. It got way fucking better. I'm gonna tell you right now. After those first three episodes, that this one we went through today was way fucking better. <laughs> way more interesting. I'm getting an idea, too, of what they're, like, trying to go for here, you know? I'm liking the, these scenes spliced in uh, as well, you know? It was nice to finally have context for that uh, that that scene we saw in Remind. God damn. Holy shit. Ha! <sighs> It's like it, it requires so much of this series requires so much commitment, right? Like, like trying to go back and rewatch scenes and understand its lore because there's so fucking much of it. It's like, sometimes I'm like, I, I have to trust my memory to, to be correct, right? Just like I fucked up that chess scene, which I thought I'd seen a million times and I, I knew most of the dumb lines, but apparently not. But I'm excited, guys. I'm excited to see where this goes here in these last two episodes, which we'll probably, uh, we'll finish off in the, in the next video. So yeah, it was awesome. I'm, I'm really enjoying it now.
And I hope you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not ready to become a picky penguin. I'll boy the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.